Hey there, folks. Welcome back. Defund. Defund them all. Defund the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, the MLB. Name your sports acronym. Defund them all. What am I talking about? What I'm talking about is the fact that people are all pretty much sick and tired of these organizations. It's coming down to the wire. They're already in trouble because the stadiums are closed. So they're losing that stadium income to begin with. Now, because those stadiums are closed, the perception is that the television viewership should increase across the board for these major sports organizations, correct? Not correct. They're losing ground. Uh, all of these organizations are losing or have lost so far an average of 25% of the viewership this year in comparison to last year, the NFL being the largest one at 28% currently. 28% fewer view viewership plus not having the ticket sales plus not having the park revenue and the merchandise sales from the parks. They're hemorrhaging money. And why is that? And why is the NFL getting hard, hit harder than the other ones, followed by the NBA, by the way? Because people are sick and tired of their politics. People are tired of the political and social agendas that are being crammed down their throats from these sports organizations and from these pampered, overpaid athletes. These celebrities who think that their, um, their opinion is a gift from God and we all have to be subjected to it. Who quite frankly, don't believe the agendas that they're pushing anyways, and neither do the does the corporation, the corporate end of these sports enterprises. They don't care. They don't care about these uh, things. They don't care about LGBTQ. They don't care about Black Lives Matters. They don't care about all this other crap. But they think you do, or they want you to think that they do, or whatever it is. They don't believe it but they're going to push that agenda because they've got something to prove. They think that it's going to make them look good. They want to be on the right side of history. There is no right side of history right now. It's all a mess. And it's embarrassing. And people are tired of it. The, the entire function of sports, big sports entertainment, and a lot of people are already wise to it. It's like the old bread and circus. It's supposed to be a distraction. So people, and that's fine because you know what? You can get real sick of politics and you can get real sick of social agendas constantly being shoved in your face from every possible direction, uh, from TV shows, from movies, from advertising, in magazines, if you still read them, in newspapers, in public opinions, from everywhere, from every side, in public school especially is really sickening with this right now pushing these political and social agendas. So, you know what, oh, I'll just go and just go watch a basketball game. Nope. <laughs> no, you can't. Not with Black Lives Matter uh, spread across the playing field so that you have to see it constantly and airbrushed photos of people and sayings on people's sneakers and t-shirts that they get to wear and all the rest of it. And you think these athletes care about that? And God forbid one of them speaks up about it because there have been a couple of people that are like, you know what, I don't want to do that. And they're they're almost practically ostracized by, by these agencies. It's dangerous to have an opinion that doesn't fit what they want you to have an opinion about. Think about that. So they either don't care or peer pressure is making them feel like they don't have a choice. But you're subjected to it constantly. It's constantly being pushed in your face. Sports used to be something that you could turn to and say, okay, I'll, I'll just like get away for a while. Again, bread and circus meant as a distraction, but in a manner of speaking, kind of a healthy distraction because you can focus your mind away from all of the input that you're subjected to by force constantly, but not anymore. And when it starts bleeding in to these organizations as heavily as it has been, people are tuning it out in record, num record numbers. They're tired of it. They're tired of hearing it. They're tired of seeing it, tired of being subjected to it. And they're running out of places to run to, to put their mind somewhere else, put their mind at ease for a little while and escape all of the political and social BS that are, is forced on us constantly. I'm tired of it. This is why a lot of people don't watch the news anymore. There's no more journalists. 
There's no more uh, reporters, not real ones. They're all gone. We have these actors. We have these actors pretending to be journalists, pretending to have opinions. I don't even think that they believe half of what they say. They're just paid to say something, and they do. But we're on the receiving end of it. We're the ones that have to sit here and look stupid. And, <laughs> and what can you do about it? What can you do about it? Because half the people believe it, and the other half pretend to believe it because they don't want someone pointing the finger at them. And where does that leave you? And it's a sad state of affairs. But folks, keep turning that dial off. Don't watch. Don't watch anymore. Don't watch the NBA. Don't watch the NFL. Don't watch uh, the NHL. Just wash it away. Don't watch MLB. Don't watch baseball. Don't watch football. Soccer even, probably. I don't know if it's bled into soccer. <laughs> but shut it off. Shut it off. Do something else. Read a book. Read an actual book. Not an audio book, folks. Read an actual book. Use your brain. Enough already. Enough. You don't need it. Stop buying the merchandise. Stop paying $500 for a pair of sneakers. <laughs> Stop buying football jerseys. De defund these people. The only way to get your point across that you're sick of it and hurt these people is to hurt them where it counts the most in their wallets. That's all they ultimately care about. You want them to stop? Stop feeding into it. And it looks like this is starting to happen. It looks like this is starting to happen. So, any thoughts on that? I'm sure a lot of the people watching this probably don't watch organized sports anyways, but if you have an opinion about it, feel free to post your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where I'm coming from. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. You know the routine. If you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. And what more can I say? But stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.